Hi, this is Mike from Mike Investigates, and today I'm going to be upgrading that Lenovo uh, computer that I uh, got from uh, a job a couple weeks ago. I'm going to be putting in a graphics card and some more memory. But I'm going to be uh, taking it out of a prior computer that I've had uh, and it's pretty dirty. So I'll flip you around and we'll get started. Okay so this is the, the computer. Uh, it's very old. It's uh, what, what is it? It is a compact Passario. AMD 64 Athlon with Windows Vista. If it would focus, focus, please. No focusing. Ah. Anyways, ATI, and that was the model number right, right there. So let's see if we can. Actually, it was XP, Windows XP. Wow. Okay. All right. So this is. I replaced uh, the power supply like twice. This is a Cool Master 550. Uh, I replaced the actual processor. It's not a. Uh, it's, it's a. Um, it's a 64 bit, but it, it's a uh, four core, I think. No. It was a one core, and I. I got it up to a two core with this uh, particular AM3 slot no it was AM2 wow yeah AM2 AM so there's the memory in here I think I got four megabytes that's one gig sticks I don't know yet anyway so I already pulled out the, the graphics card uh, the hard drive I did have in it was a Seagate, if it would focus, uh, SSD, uh, actually SSHD, which was a hybrid SSD plus a uh, hard drive. So it's a 2 gig. I'm going to clean that off and throw it into my array right there. I still have two uh, bays open. So I'm going to do that. And you can see the condition of the dust on this uh, graphics card. A PNY graphics card. We can, you can even tell what, what it is. On the, uh, oh, it's upside down. So uh, definitely going to clean this off. Can we focus, please? Okay. It is a GeForce GF. 210 1 megabyte DDR3 so I'm going to see if this will work uh, I might have to upgrade it though but it is a slim uh, build so it's uh, I have to take th this shield off and uh, this will go bye bye and I'll probably just float in there for a second I don't know I don't have another guard that, that comes with it, so I'll have to improvise that. But anyways, uh, let me clean this off. Let's uh, pull this out, and I'll be right back.
Okay, and I'm back. So, what I had to do, I, I uh, had to swap these. These are DDR2. Wow. Blast from the past. And uh, these are D DDR3. So, I had to swap, uh, take it off uh, that other computer you saw. And I also have a uh, another computer setting up on my rack that I, I grabbed two of those other, other ones off. So, yeah, uh, I got this in. I don't have, the video card uh, does not have the, the protective cover like this, right? With uh, the outputs and everything to, to hold it in. I might just modify this one. Actually cut it. I think I might do that. Just to, to hold it in. In fact, I, I think I'll do that. But I'll do that off camera. Anyways, uh, I think once I do that, I'll be right back and I'll have it hooked up onto the monitor. And actually, I'll, I'll have it hooked up to this monitor because that's a HDMI. I want to check, check out the HDMI output. So, be right back. Okay, so I'm set up. I uh, got the monitor in front of me and the old Dell lap or, uh, keyboard and mouse. And it looks like it's already started uh, booting up on me, on me already. Let's try to. Wow, I didn't see that coming. Alright, so it did recognize the. Uh, and uh, keyboard not found. Huh. Interesting. That's escape. Uh, number. Not recognizing the the keyboard because uh, I, I bought this from Fry's and uh, I think it has to actually boot into Windows before it recognizes the actual keyboard. So I might have to switch out to my other keyboard. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, and I'm back. So here we are. Uh, I, I do have the, the, the actual PS2 to USB working now uh, as far as the, the mouse and the keyboard. Um, if I can hold this steady. There we go. This, uh, this, I have to swap out. That one would not work. Okay, so then we have. Let's close that one out. Close window. Let's go to our file and this PC. And let's right click on it and let's go to properties. And it looks like the uh, same information. I was looking for what was I looking for? Device manager? Yeah. Okay, so we have display adapters. And it's probably uh, downloading the, uh, the display adapters right now. So close you guys out. Let's go right here to the task manager. We go to performance. And go to memory, and it looks like we have four of four available t uh, eleven mega megabytes. 
in use is one one actually 13 gig, gig, gigabytes wow so that that uh, memory sticks were okay I do have the Wi-Fi uh, it's the beacons uh, little USB a connected USB they'll probably use that for a while until I get the actual Wi-Fi card for the PCI Express and it looks like it's going receiving almost four megabytes per second so that's good and I am coming off the uh, HDMI cable now I, I didn't take the time to uh, crack open this bracket it's just gonna take too much time and too too much effort to to, to securely connect that so all right, so this is going to be prepped and ready to go onto the living room TV as a, a media computer. Actually, I might put that two two gigs hard drive back into here. I want to do that. Anyways, and uh, if you like this, hit that thumbs up. If you didn't. Thumbs down, put some comments in the comments. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And thank you very much for watching. You have a fantastic day.